Hello, um, it's Sunday the 18th of July and yesterday I spent the best part of a day at the London Film and Comic Con at Earl's Court 2 and here's who I met while I was there. First person I met was Katie Sackhoff. She's best known as for playing Starbuck in um, the modern remake of Battlestar Galactica but I wanted to meet her because she was in the remake of Bionic Woman with Michelle Ryan and I thought she was fantastic in that. She was lovely, very nice, very pretty, uh, clearly pleased to meet fans and this is the picture she signed for me. Unfortunately she wasn't posing for photos because she had a professional photo shoot and she didn't think it was fair for people who were paying for that but she let me take a photo of her and this is it. Next up was Lenora Critchlow who is best known for being in Being Human, the wonderful um, BBC3 series about a vampire, a werewolf and a ghost sharing a house. Um, she was also in the Doctor Who episode Gridlock. She was very nice and this is what she signed for me. Unfortunately she wasn't posing for photos either, not entirely sure, might have been because she had a professional photo shoot, but she but I managed to grab one of her while I was in the queue. Next up was Russell Tovey, who is also in Being Human and uh, played midshipman Alonzo Frame in Doctor Who episode Voyage of the Damned and he reappeared in David Tennant's last episode being partnered with Captain Jack. He was really nice. The person in front of me in the queue put down his photo was very very specific about what he wanted Russell to sign on it. He had to write being human at the top of the page followed by the date and below that his character name in full then he had to sign it and print his name alongside and it was very specific about where on the photo it all had to be. And so as I put mine down, I joked he could write anything he liked on mine. And so he drew a little portrait of himself on it, which you can see here. He was happy to pose for a photo with me and here it is. Very nice man. Next up was somebody who I never thought would do one of these shows, so I was thrilled when she was announced. Then she cancelled, but was re-announced the same day. Um, and it's Sean Young. She's a Hollywood actress, best known for playing Rachel in Blade Runner, uh, also in No Way Out with Kevin Costner and Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. It was originally cast as Vicky Vale in the first Batman film, but got injured falling off a horse, so it was replaced by Kim Basinger. Um, got a reputation for being a bit awkward, shall we say, um, in Hollywood, but was a lot nicer than I thought she would be. Really pleased to have met her. Uh, this is a photo she signed. And she was happy to pose for a photo, and this is it. Next was William B. Davis, who is the cigarette smoking man in the X-Files. He's getting on a bit and that showed but he was very pleasant and this is a photo he signed for me. And post for a photo-ish, this is it. Next up was Simon Dutton who was the saint in the last remake of the saint not including the film um he was in doctor who in the time of angels and the series just finished matt smith's first series and he was also in the wonderful sitcom not going out with lee mack and tim vine and sally breton um which is what i spoke to him about and he seemed pleased to be speaking about it and said he enjoyed making it and this is a photo he signed for me. And a photo with him. Next was Virginia Hay, who has been in Mad Max and Farscape. And my interest in her was because she was in The Living Daylights. 
I took along a photo that I had previously signed by John Reese davies um, a couple of years ago at Collector Mania um, because she's in it and took it in case I didn't have any decent ones of her from Living Daylights and they didn't really so I got her to sign that one. She first of all joked about what a hideous picture of her it was and then she read what John had written on it and tried to come up with something but in the end gave up so just wrote tons of love. Um, really nice, really friendly, clearly a pro at meeting fans. This is her addition to the photo. And lovely photo with her draping herself around me. Next was Matthew Waterhouse who played Adric who was a companion to Tom Baker towards the end of his run and then Peter Davidson at the start of his. Um, in Doctor Who, obviously. Uh, I'd met him before, back at my first ever Collector Mania, which was before I was getting photos with people, so I wanted to meet him again. He lives in the States and he's over here doing a little mini tour at the moment, so he's quite rare to get. Very appreciative of his fans. You know, genuinely pleased that people come out to meet him. Very nice guy. and. Here's a photo of him as Adric who got signed. And this is me with him. Next was Julian Glover, who's been in loads of things. Uh, he had a small role in The Empire Strikes Back. He was the main baddie in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. He played the baddie in For Your Eyes Only. Um, um, along with millions of other things, he's been in Doctor Who as well. He was really nice, very friendly, very happy to chat, very pleased to be meeting fans. I told him that on Friday I'd seen a trailer for a film he was in that's coming out soon, that's also got Gemma Arterton in it, um, but he didn't have a clue what I was talking about and I couldn't remember the name of it, which didn't help. So on the off chance that you see this, Julian, it is called Perfect. Um, I don't know if you do remember making it or not, or, but he did actually ask me to come back and tell him if I remember what it was called, but I didn't remember in time. Uh, here's a photo of him from Few Eyes Only that I got signed. And this is me with him. Penultimate guest was Christana Loken who was the Terminatrix, the female Terminator in Terminator 3. Um, she's also been in Blood Rain and The L Word and various other things. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, couldn't decide what photo to get, so ended up getting two. Got a Terminator one and one from one of her FHM shoots, I think it's from. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning woman. These are the photos I've got signed. And this is the photo she was happy to pose for. At one point in the day she did have a no pose photos sign up. Um, this was shortly before her photo shoot. But as soon as she got back from her photo shoot, that came down. So I was pleased that I waited to meet her. Last up, mainly because he didn't get there until late and then he had a photo shoot. So he didn't start signing until after 12. Was the final main cast member from Being Human who was Aidan Turner. He was also in Desperate Romantics about the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, which on BBC Two last year. Brilliant series. Um, very humble, took compliments very graciously. Because he'd been late and it was busy, he wasn't posing for photos, but he was happy to let me take one of him. And that was it. Good show. Enjoyed it. Managed to get round pretty quickly. Uh, didn't need to go today because there's no real big people who I wanted to see there today. Um, so it wasn't really worth the expense of travelling up again. Next show now, not till November because the October Collectomania has been cancelled. So I've got a while to go until the next one, but it gives me a chance to save up some money. Thank you for watching. Bye.